chapter two is uh, we notice that is again we are asked to solve a linear equation where we need to find and ascertain the value of y. Okay, so that you can see our y here is being put up in two different terms and in order for us to solve for the value of y, we will need to put them on the same side. Okay, so what you can do like in all fractional equations is that if you are thinking of cross multiplying, uh, you can uh, one approach is to try to either put two y's together or you can combine the left hand side and right hand side into one single fraction. So let me just look at the left hand side first. All right. So if you look at the left hand side, combining them together, uh, what I'll do is uh, this is just combine these two. Uh, okay, I've not done anything. I basically uh, multiply them by the LCM. So y over two, right, is the same as uh, five y over ten, right? And similarly, one over five. So you can see, uh, I'm just combining the two fractions. Uh, times two times two, this one our times five times five. And I get uh, 5 y minus 2 over 10. Okay? Right? So on my right hand side, 2 is the same as 2 over 1. Right? So if I want to put my right hand side into one fraction, I have 1 and 3. Uh, basically, the LCM of 1 and 3 is just 3. So I multiply by the times 3. Times 3. This will give me 6 minus y over the common denominator, which is 3. So on my right hand side, the common denominator is 3. On my left hand side, the common denominator is 10. Okay, so I hope you are comfortable with this manipulation. All I did is I put my left hand side into one fraction. I put my left hand side into one fraction as well. And so from here, what we will do is now we have a fraction equals to fraction. We multiply by the LCM of the denominator. Okay, so I multiply by the LCM of the denominator or sometimes you'll call it cross multiply now, okay. I notice that the LCM of 10 and 3 is 30. Okay, so here what I do next is I multiply by the LCM of both denominators, which in this case, you can see that the answer is just equals to 30. Okay, just equals to 30. All right. So from here, we cross uh, we have uh, 30 multiplied by 5y minus 2. 30 multiplied to 6 minus y. Okay. So 30 and 10 division, that will give us a multiplication of 3. 30 and divide by 3, that will give us a multiplication of 10. And with that, we have 3 okay 3 multiplied to 5y minus 2 10 multiplied to 6 minus y so from here we have quite a nice equation huh? okay huh? and after that uh, distribute basically open the brackets okay or this will be similar to what you have solved earlier 3 times 5 is 15y minus 6 3 to minus 2 minus 6 10 to 6, that gives us a 60. 10 to negative y, that gives us a minus 10y. Okay, and with that, again, well, we combine, pack our y to one side. So I'm going to bring the smaller number to the bigger number. I'm going to bring this side over to this side. So I have a 15y plus 10y equals to 60 plus 6. Okay, so what I do is I add both sides by 6, cancel this one. Add both sides by 10, why I cancel this one. With this, I have 25y equals to 66. And y is equal to 66 over 25. And we are done for this question. Thank you.